Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissart, Licensed Clinical Social Worker with Cherubon Home Care. Thank you for joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know what? It's always exciting to find out about new things happening in our area. I want to tell you a, bit, a little bit about it. So today we went out to L.A. Ship in Homa where we got a tour of how they're building this new and upcoming first ever service operations festival called an SOV. Its whole job is to support technicians servicing offshore wind turbines in the northeast of the United States. So now let's take a look at how this process is actually being done. So this is where the process of building a boat really starts. We back trucks in here and bring in and buy and bring in plates of steel. So we have steel on the ground here. On your right, there's a cutting table. So all the pieces of steel on the boat are cut on that table. And on, the, on your left over here, we have a plate roller machine, which can bend the plate and shape it. Where we take pieces of steel and stiffen them up and shape them to start getting uh, the form of a boat. So you're gonna, you're gonna see, as we start this panel line, this is just regular plate. We start welding it together. As we move down the line, we weld angle iron and bolt flat onto it to, to give it some strength. And as we go further down the line, then we start adding other pieces, girders and, uh, and other sections of plate to start forming the boat. That makes a panel. At the end of the line, you have a panel. Once you have four or five panels, you put them together and you make a unit. It turns into a box, which is what we call a unit here. Once you have several units, you start turning them into the boat. Uh, we thank you for watching that with us. Kind of want to let you also know that they have these steel plates and they show how they get welded together with some really amazing machines. We turn to Whit Carter as he explains a little bit more about that process. Whit? So we have this machine here. It's called a one-sided welder. It welds multiple plates together. So we give you a larger piece of plate to be able to start working on it. Because welding by hand would take a lot of time, they just tack it. They just put a little small bead on there to hold it in place. Then we move to this one, which has four robot welding heads on it, torches, which will weld four times as fast as one person. And we start installing girders and, 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 and other pieces to stiffen up the pipe. And pieces like this, this piece right here is an example of what's being cut over there on the cutting table. And every single, every single panel has a design and a drawing that goes with it. So they know to make this, we need 14 of those, eight of these stiffeners, all ahead of time. Purchasing gets everything here, and then it starts going down the line and the pieces start being put together. Now you have a panel. As these panels come off the line, they all need to go through a vertical blasting machine. So that's gonna, we're gonna lift these with a crane and run it through that machine and it's sandblast it. As soon as it comes out the other side of the sandblaster, we put some holding primer on it so that we can start turning it into a unit. Well, thank you, Whit, we appreciate that. Now, on the boat itself, it's got a tower that allows people to walk across to the windmill safely. And Whit Carter tells us a little bit more about that as well use its thrusters to stay in exactly the same position. And then we have a tower that's gonna go in this hole right here. The tower has an elevator inside and a gantry at the top. So the boat will position itself next to the windmill. The gantry will extend across to the windmill and push against it so that it's a rigid connection between boat and windmill. And that way it's hydraulically compensated and the boat is dynamically positioned so that the boat stays in, within one meter, and the crane compensates for the waves and the swell and the wind to stay alongside the windmill all the time. So they'll ride up the elevator, walk across to the windmill, do what they gotta do. The boat can pull away and leave them there. They can work for a half hour and then come walk back. It avoids having to have a crane on the windmill to physically lift someone up off the back deck and swing them onto the windmill. It's just not the way the the design of the windmill is, is too small to make that happen. So that's why this is purpose-built boat so that people can walk to work on the windmills. This is, uh, these are just some drawings here. 
So each of these units, like you see this is unit 21 right here, each of them has a set of drawings. Each unit has a set of drawings. So you have gray water and black water and piping. This is just for the pipe department here for this boat. So you have this similar drawings for electrical, for structure, for, for carpentry, for all the crafts on the boat. So there's a tremendous amount of engineering that's done to, to make this happen. And everything's drawn out on paper and then parts are ordered and then the guys read the drawings and put the boat together as it's designed. All right, we thank you for that. There's also on this boat, they have what's called a Schneider propeller that Whit Carter will go a little bit more into detail about this very special propeller. One of the differences is those, the Voith propulsion units in the stern are, uh, they're not just a propeller that pushes thrust backwards. They're a, you have to look them up online to really understand them. It's called V-O-I-T-H. They have a nice animation on their website site that shows how it works. But basically it has some blades that are, are, are vertical that spin. And as the blade changes its angle, it pushes thrust in whatever direction you want. And so that makes it real economical and, um, and maneuverable as far as keeping this boat alongside the windmill. Uh, another thing that this boat is different from a PS, normal PSV are the accommodations. All right, and that's a great update from L.A. Ship. We appreciate you joining us. And that will do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more here right here on HTV.